How can consumers of information be grouped so as to work comfortably within the architecture? What groups exist and what possible areas of inconsistency might remain between them? In this session, we'll consider each group of users in turn and consider how each is best served. In the architecture, we have the information sources and then the three layers that make up the enterprise data warehouse. As we've seen in previous episodes, the bulk of the information will be delivered from star schema or preferably OLAP structures within the EDW provision. We are now considering what makes up the information access layer. For most users, getting to the management information will be about using BI tools. The choice of the BI tool is critical. One of the key concerns of business is one version of the truth, but this tends to concentrate on the data delivery from the EDW. The other key concern should be one version of the question. What we're really concerned about here is ensuring that users can understand and agree upon a definition of the measure they are consuming. For this reason and others, we would recommend keeping the number of BI tools down to a minimum, ideally one. Of course, implicit in this is the idea that this single BI tool should be capable of a lot of things. In particular, it should encourage self-service. So a key capability of the BI tool should be that users can author and publish reports to a broad audience. These reports should ideally be based on a set of trusted and understood measures coming from the enterprise data warehouse. In an ideal world, the tool used for ad hoc reporting would be the same tool as used for reports authoring, and this would allow for the building of dashboards, alerts, and so on. This single tool covers the bulk of the information consumption, but there will be other groups of users who need to be catered for. The first important group is finance. Typically, this group will be making the big bets. They will be planning the big strategic moves, enterprise planning, running the financial close and reporting, and so on. This group is usually served with a suite of enterprise performance management software. Of course, the tools consume a large amount of corporate information, and in an ideal world, this would all be consumed from the single source of the enterprise data warehouse. It's often, however, not the case because pre-built interfaces exist from the GL, for example, to the performance management tools. This need not be a bad thing, but the architecture must highlight this and indicate that it can be a potential source for reconciliation. The key thing is that these tools are represented on the architecture. Finance must be seen as a key part of the overall information delivery. If they are not, then the chances of consistency are significantly lowered. The next group we refer to as advanced analytics consumers. These users may live in various areas of the business. For example, they may be responsible for elements of customer insight or marketing. Most often, they are interested in subjects like data mining. As with finance users, the key thing the architecture must do is embrace these users. We would prefer these users to be consuming all of the information out of the enterprise data warehouse, but beyond that, we'd like them to work on the EDW directly rather than shipping data out into specialist tools. If the data warehouse technology includes the capability for data mining to be done in situ on the data without moving it, then this is the ideal solution. However, these users will usually require some kind of transitory persistence store, somewhere to load small amounts of external data and somewhere to build up result sets like lists of customers and so on. In order to support this activity, we must make provision for this via the creation of a sand pit within the data warehouse itself. These are typically allocated to individual users or a small group of users, and users will often be given permission to share information between sand pit users. As we've seen, there's a wide variety of requirements for information consumption. While the bulk of users can be served by BI tools, finance users and advanced analytics users need more specialized requirements. In order to make the whole of the information management deliverable successful, it is important that these groups are embraced and accommodated within the architecture. In the next session, we'll look at delivering a single set of flexible dimensions and measure values to all of these types of users.